and today i'll discuss about a new uh, trend of tcs so the screenshot that you are seeing is a tcs salary breakup of an assistant consultant having approximate nine years of experience and uh, he offered around 28 lakhs so tcs is uh, previously they don't offer this much of uh, salary but due to his current attrition rate they are in, they are offering a good uh, salary like other competitor so we'll discuss all, all about so this is not a offer letter basically so once you selected uh, in tcs technical round the hr will share uh, this type of salary breakup either in excel or a screenshot so once you accept this offer or accept this like uh, this breakup they will release the offer letter so even i have the offer letter but due to some uh, other issue i'm not showing the offer letter so i'm just showing this uh, i mean this will be exactly there in your it, this will be exactly printed in your offer letter so this all components i will go through so this is basically trial three all br branches so this is basically the candidate has done for for his engineering from tier three colleges not tier one or tier two so point to be noted for tier one and tier two this com compensation structure is entirely different for nine years experience a tier two guy may expect around 40 to 42 lakhs in tcs and for tier one they could provide around 50 to 60 in fact so this is a tier three uh most of a 90 percent of workforce tcs they have tier three people so this is a tier 3 basically uh, so tier 3 engineering college and the compensation uh, with the first thing is basic salary so tcs always provide the base salary as low because they provide uh, all the salary in some other format so basic salary would be always low so if you consider some other company with 28 lakh package you could expect around 70000 as a basic salary but here the basic salary is 42000 and hrd is 29000 so this is a uh, a1 city and ltle travel allowances is 3500 rupees which is very low food coupon is 2500 which is pretty good because around 2500 to 3000 normally food coupon would be and you see the parswan allowances so tcs is giving everything inside the parswan allowances so this is 84200 uh, 26 rupees so this is a huge amount uh, per month they will be giving and city allowances is 1000 rupees and now uh, this is the fixed component and then uh, the it comes to a performance pay so this variable pay so monthly performance pay will be 21500 rupees so this will be added to your salary and this performance bonus 2000 uh, 29600 so it, this will be uh like you know uh, paid in quarter basis quarterly basis that to certain percentage will get you may you cannot expect the hundred percent so for this uh three months it could be around close to ninety thousand so you may expect around seventy to uh, seventy five thousand based on the uh business performance project performance so this performance part it is given quarterly and this is a monthly performance so monthly the salary is coming around two lakh seventeen thousand so annual annual salary is coming 20 2 lakh uh, 26 lakhs so out of 28 lakh they are giving 26 lakh now there are some uh, uh deduction the provident fund they will be deducting 60,000. so that is quite common in all the uh indian mnc they deduct the provident fund so if, if you are there in uh, their system for four year 10 for i mean this is for pf right so 60000 per uh, like year so the small amount like you know 5000 per a month uh, it will be added so 5000 from here 5000 from here so 10000 total uh, it will be added per month so ideally uh, people should opt for vpf because this is very less amount and the gratuity this amount will be 24000 so the gratuity is less that because this basic salary is low so a certain percentage uh, possibly 3% 3.75 this percentage is a gratuity so this is low and for all the indian mnc's the gratuity is deducted whatever i was telling so uh, like indian mnc like we pro tcs uh, uh, we uh, infosys they deduct the gratuity and if you are there in the system for four years uh, 10 months you will get the gratuity so retail benefit it will it is reacted around 84722 now health insurance premium his which is the uh, the one of the uh, like you know the great thing about uh, tcs they have uh, the good his uh, uh, health insurance scheme so 8200 rupees they are only deducting for this amount possibly they will give around 16 to 20 lakhs floating coverage 
for the employee and the, for the employees uh, like you know dependent so that is a great benefit that tcs will be giving for this small amount of money and then comes to this portion retention incentive so they have recently introduced this is 1 lakh rupees so you, once you are there in the uh, system for past one year so you will get 1 lakh rupees so this is not fixed it may vary or may not vary there is no uh, clear cut indication that they will give 1 lakh rupees so uh, as of now they are deducting 1 lakh rupees and if you complete TCS uh, like one one year completion after your first year anniversary they will supposed to pay 1 lakh rupees and ideally this should continue this is not a one time payment so this will this will continue so this is all about assistant consultant salary uh, those who recently joined TCS with around approximately 9 to 10 years they have offered this much and this is not from Bangalore Bang Bangalore it might be slightly higher but this is a salary which is there in uh, Kolkata, Chennai or Hyderabad this trend so even if you are planning to join TCS uh, do not think that you won't get the hike so normally I will tell you the one insight what I got from TCS so if you are joining TCS yeah, this will be based upon your current salary so normally in your current company if you stayed more than say uh, 2 years then they will probably offer you around 40 to 45 percent that max they can offer and in some cases if your salary is way low they can even offer 80 percent so uh, suppose uh, if your salary is 10 lakh rupees and uh, if you are there uh, for five six years in your current organization so they may uh, give maximum 18 lakhs so that that can be happen but ideally they will give you 40 to 45 percent if you are there in your current company for more than two years now if you are there between one to two years so they may give around 30 percent so if your salary is 10 lakh they may give you 13 lakhs if you stay less than one year so possibly you may expect around between 10 to 20 percent so 15 20 percent you may expect so that calculation normally this is hr did but there is uh, there varies so this is all about a small uh, insight of tcs current salary trend and uh, if you are joining planning to join tcs this, this might help you and if you have a different thought please let me know in the comment below thank you